what are we looking at today, you ask? Well, let's see. Taking a look today at an instruction manual for virtual reality glasses. No, we're not. We're looking at the glasses themselves. That's right. Virtual reality, it can be yours for less than $30. I know. So, taking a look in the box, we do have the instruction manual here. I already don't have very high hopes for this because looking at it, it says virtual reality glasses for mobile phone in all lowercase letters. No capitalization or anything. Um, let's see. Let's just give you a little bit of reference here. Product operation. Using and adjusting for EVA mat. When using at first time, please refer to below description to choose different thickness, EVA mat, EVA block, and elastic sponge pad. Piece of garbage. We're not using that. What do we got here? Wet wipe and a dry wipe. Clean your screen. Nice microfiber cloth. Those are always nice. And some foam pads. Maybe these are sponge pads they were just talking about there. Now let's look at the main, look at the main attraction here. The real reason you're buying this. Very interesting um, packaging here. Let me show you this. It's just twisted in the corners. Not sure how that stayed together and everything, but it works. So we're going to pull this out. That smells. I guess you could say it's a new car. I'm not quite sure if I like it or not. I'm sure it'll wear off once it's aired out for a while, but... So, we're going to... Oh, ready? Oh, that's nice. So, this is plastic, despite it might look like leather. This is... That's not real leather, but it feels nice. I don't think it's going to get really, really hot with a lot of use, hopefully. We'll put it on. And I can see the internals along with... There is a bug wing inside of these right from the factory. I don't know if that's going to reveal to us something about the quality of these, but let's just take a look inside. So I think that just pops right open like that. Nice. All right, and then does this come... There's a little tiny switch right here, which you push, and then that pops out. And look at that, there's our bug wing right in there. Fortunately, it's on this little piece of uh, plastic, so we don't have anything to worry about. What is this? Okay, so if you're using a phone that's a 4 to 5 inch screen, you're supposed to use this to cover up the edges so you don't have light bleeding through. Because that'll look kind of nasty. We don't need that though because we got ourselves a 5 and a half inch phone here. So what I assume you do is you just plop this down right in there. And then close that up. Close that. And you have virtual reality. Broke it. There's a thing here I pulled off. Just a little cover for the, uh, the scroll wheel there. Alright, uh... I'm actually going to go find that instruction manual and see if we can get anything useful from it. So, again, this is very bad. However, there is a QR code on the front. So I'm going to scan that really quick and see if maybe it'll give us something a little bit more useful. All right. All right. It takes you to the website, ritech3d.com slash apps. Okay, so this is just showing you some basic virtual reality, um, some good virtual reality apps you can get. So we're going to download a few and try them out, see how they are. Um, unfortunately for you as the viewer, it's not going to be as wonderful as an experience as it is for me. All right, so one thing that I would like to note, um, you might be thinking like, oh, this is just like Google Cardboard. Um, you would be right in the fact that it uses your phone for virtual reality, but if you look on the side here, there's no little button. There's nothing, because um, on the virtual the Google Cardboard, you got that little washer you slide up and down. And there's nothing like that on here, so... I don't think that you can actually select things with this. As far as I know, I think the only thing you can use this for is videos and you have to take your phone out every time you want to watch another one or something like that. So that's that seems a little unpleasant. So it wants me to select start game, but I don't know how. Is there a button or anything I can press? Oh, and another thing up there, you can, you can adjust the focal length so that it fits your eyes. I still don't know how to... Um, how to push a button though. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, this is a... Uh... But I will say the virtual reality definitely works. This definitely is working with the gyroscope and everything. That's that's totally fine. It looks good. I, I like it. Right now I'm in a cement uh, cave, but I can't... Select. Start game. Alright, we might have to take the phone out to try to uh, get this to work here. Just to... Tap on start. That's something to keep in mind. That's... Oh, you can't. 
I don't think you can do much with this virtual reality headset because there isn't a button or anything that you can press. Maybe if I hit the volume button? Let me try that. Hold on. Nope. Power button. Nope, that's put the phone to sleep. Alright, so as far as I can tell, there's no way to select anything in-game with this headset. I could be wrong. It would be wonderful if the manual would be able to help me out here. I will say, it's pretty comfortable, especially if I spent some time adjusting this. <gasps> no way, do we have one that works? We do! I'm on a roller coaster, in case you couldn't hear. Wow, this is huge! Okay. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna fall over. This is really trippy. Oh. oh. Alright, this is pretty sweet. I'm gonna be real. Oh, we're still done. <gasps> Woohoo! Look at that. Who needs to go to Six Flags? You can just ride a roller coaster right here. You don't need no Disney World. Oh, this is so, this is so dizzying. I'm gonna puke. Okay, hold on. We're good. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, I just drove through another car. Okay. Oh, that makes me nauseous. I'm, I'm just a motion sick person. Um. Oh, but we got something that works. That's good. So, um, I would say that that is fun. When something works. But if you can't actually select anything on the screen, and it's not like you can pull your phone out and touch it on the touchscreen either. It needs like the little magnetic thing here to detect it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to say, without that little, uh, without that button, I, I can't recommend this to anyone. I don't think I'm. I'll tr try it out with a YouTube video and see if it's any different. Like if it works okay with that. But I, I, I don't think you're gonna enjoy yourself with this. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest, because you can't, you can't really do anything. Alright, let's try this. We got us a virtual reality video here. Okay, so if you find one of those 360 degree videos, you can go onto YouTube and select View in Cardboard. Yeah, now we got it. Now I'm watching a video. And I can like, I can look around at everything in here. Yeah, so this is pretty sweet. This works. Um... You know, I guess if, if you want to watch virtual reality YouTube videos with this, then I guess this is probably what you're going to want. But I would try to find someone, something that does have the switch and the button on the side so you can also play some games. Because really, you just have to be able to select stuff and then you can play all the games that you want. So, um, I... If you're looking for the absolute cheapest option and this is, this is the thing that you want, you want this one and you just want to watch videos with it, then yeah, I would say go for it. But if you plan on doing anything other than watching YouTube videos with this, I... I have to say, you should not buy this.